Welcome to part two of our road trip through Scotland. If you didn't watch the first one, part one, I'd highly suggest checking it out. Link below. Continuing on from Edinburgh, we hired a Jeep. Cause why not? We took the scenic route to the Cairngorm National Park via the old military road where we experienced all four seasons in just one hour. So join us on the ride. Would you just look at that view? Skyfall, tremble. Let's skip to me on the rock. Join me on a rock. By James Bond Road, Skyfall. Skyfall, think you tremble. I'm all alone, my wife has gone. <laughs> Would you just look at that view? After much more driving, we finally made it. We reached Loch Ness Guest House. We checked into the Airbnb, which was beautiful, and then we decided to walk around and then quickly find some food. We ended up at the Bothy. We have arrived at the Loch Ness Guest House, and we have come to celebrate that uh, great success of journey getting here. At the Bothy, Bothy, Bothy. So we're gonna get a nice pint, probably some food, because it's freezing. The food was great, might not look it, but the pub was amazing. The last person to leave is when the pub actually shut. How's it going, guys? So we are in the Loch Ness guest house, chilling in the lounge living area. We will see all the mountains. We arrived here at like five, half past five, so we didn't really get to see much of the scenery apart from the drive here, which was spectacular. But tomorrow when we wake up, fingers crossed it's clear or weather. But for now, I think we're gonna sign off. So, we'll see you soon. Adios. We woke up surrounded with misty hills and a sense of mystery in the air. We walked around the picturesque Caledonian Canal and strolled along the famous Loch Ness whilst discovering hidden nooks and crannies within the village. We were so lucky with the weather, so we were excited to hit the road again. From there, we got back on the road and drove up to Ben Nevis. And it wasn't long before we stopped off at the first amazing view. Okay, so we just quickly pulled over. Wow, oh, you need to see this view. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you to the amazing family who stopped behind us and took some photos of me and my wife, and we took some family photos of them. Our next stop was the three waterfalls. Uh, I loved filming this little part and uh, we noticed some people down doing something in the bushes. But we didn't know what they were doing, so we just ignored them. You meet with Dear Shankar. These are the three waterfalls I've just been informed. So you have one, two, three, Swiftly moving on from the waterfalls, we continued to drive and we stopped off at this place where we got out and it, it took our breaths away. And um, yeah, needless to say, I think we both had a surreal moment in that time there um, where we just pondered our whole existence and 
how magnificent God is at creating just wonders for us to enjoy. And this was it. Then to Glencoe, where we purchased some iron brew sweets and some gifts for the family from the gift shop. Then we had lunch at Fort William. Majestic scenery here. Oh, it's bitterly cold. The shaggy, the shaggy cows at the front top there. <laughs> Let's take you inside. Let's take you inside this. And for our final stop, James Bond, Skyfall Road. This place was breathtaking. And we are so happy to come this time of year. We managed to experience how rugged and majestic the scenery is. And there are also less tourists. And we soon only saw around five cars maximum. So driving in Edinburgh can be a bit challenging considering one way roads and small daylight windows in the autumn time. But with caution and patience, you'll be fine. If Karina can do it, you can surely do it. Now the weather in the Highlands is always touch and go. You can come in the summer and have rain all week or be lucky like us and have sunshine in autumn. If you wish to consider this two day Highland trip, check out the full itinerary in the link below. And that's it from us. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it with your friends if you enjoyed it and stick around because we'll have more videos like this soon. That's what you got, keep recording. If you want to catch the next video where we fly to Los Angeles and rent a car and drive up to Lake Tahoe, United States of America, where we do some camping, some fishing and some kayaking, then do not forget to subscribe so you do not miss out. Peace and love. Thank you so much for watching, guys.